What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Some lowlife Islamist scumbag has tried to attack people on Streatham High Road, which is somewhere I know very well, having lived near there many years ago. The police have been very quick to deem it a terrorist attack, and security services are now saying it's relating to Islam, so no surprises there, but of course reports are sketchy at best, since the attack happened only a few hours ago. But so far we have two people injured as it stands. Now this could change, but the suspect has been dispatched by the Metropolitan Police, and from what I can tell they did it within a few moments of this all starting, giving him free shots as he tried to run away from them. So they shot him down like the dirty dog that he was, following him, like I said, attacking at least two people, with reports in The Guardian quoting a local student who witnessed the attack, saying the scumbag was wielding a machete with canisters strapped round his chest, being chased by what looked like plainclothes police officers, before three or four shots rang out. Now Sky News are also reporting witness claims that the man grabbed a knife from high street shops before stabbing a man and a woman, but that contradicts the machete claims from what other witnesses have said, most notably the one I just spoke about. So who knows what is true relating to that, but something that is consistent in the reports is that he was wearing some kind of vest. Now, to me, if he's running away from the police wearing a vest, then I would expect the vest could well be fake, like we have seen before. But we don't know that for sure, the same as we don't know much about this terrorist attack, except of course the reports on the Sky News websites claiming security service think it was Islamist related, and from the images I've seen, and the style of attack, it might be safe to say it was another jihadi terrorist, or just part and parcel of living in a big city, as the incompetent fuck pig Sadiq Khan would say. Now I do feel I should point out that given how quick the police was on this guy, he could well have been under surveillance anyway, well done to the Met Police for swiftly putting this piece of shit down for a permanent dirt nap. No handcuffs needed, just two in the chest and one in the head, as soon as you know this person is trying to harm people. Corbyn and the Labour Party might want to arrest these people, but the rest of the country is proud when our police force does its job protecting us by wiping the scum from the face of the earth, rather than protecting people's feelings on Twitter, as seems to be the priority for this city's mayor and his Twitter fort police. So let's take a quick look at what the media are saying about the situation as I am recording this, since it is a developing story that changes very quickly. The uh, alleged perpetrator in this incident uh, was shot by armed police just a little further up this road, beyond where we can see there's a Boots pharmacy um, up there. Uh, we understand that's where uh, the perpetrator was shot uh, by armed police, but certainly a sense that police are rushing to try and figure out exactly what's happened here today. Speak now to Karka Tahir, who was at the scene when the incident happened and has given us permission to use his footage of the incident. We don't have it yet. We will bring it to you as soon as we do. Uh, Karka, just tell us what it was that you saw. Uh, yes, uh, it was around 2 o'clock this afternoon and at the time I was working with my colleague and I see this guy literally running on a pavement and behind him there was two or three police officers undercover uh, with the gun and keep telling him stop, stop, which he did not stop and then I see that shot him three times. So, so you could see from where you are, uh, as yes. he was lying on the floor, it looked like he had some kind of device, Kaka? Yes, police say, yeah. Police uh, came to us, they say we have to leave the shop because he has a bomb in his back. That's what police say to us. Uh, yes, everybody has to leave because he has some device in his back. And we did see it that a police, after shot him, went to check on him while he was alive and... Then they suddenly find something. I think, I believe there was a bomb or something. And they step back and tell everybody step back. That's where we run. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about living back to London now. I'm starting thinking maybe I shouldn't come to London. In terms of the response of the emergency service, do you know how many uh, vehicles you saw, ambulances, police cars, for example? I have not seen ambulance, but I did see uh, a many, many armed police cars. And so them the, the point cabin. at which you were at the scene, it was just a police response? Yes. I don't know. It's like a, it, everybody was there. Police came and respond in a second. There was at least four police in the scene, more than that. And late, two minutes later, I could see keep coming and keep coming. Yeah, police were overwhelming in the area. 
And thanks for police, it make us feel safer at least. So just to establish, Kaka, what it was you saw of this incident itself, you heard police officers shouting and then you heard gunshots. That's right, that's right. Yeah, they were chasing him with the gun. He gone out, they chasing him like a four yards and they shot him down finally. They had to put him down. Uh, and then you saw the man on yes, the ground. Yeah, I saw a man on the ground and he was alive for a good three, four minutes. He was looking around on the floor, and and and, and then police. You can see it. they are stepping back slowly and slowly. Just make a safe zone from the if the blast go off. If there's a blast, but you can feel it. Even a sniper came into the area. You see a sniper. Right, and and at that point, the police came to your shop and asked you to move yes. away very quickly. Yes. yes, that's correct. Yes, and you had to move. Now, I've cut down a lot of the interview there, as the Sky News had him going over the same stuff multiple times, which was just pointless and annoying. The witness here said he had just moved to London and questioned whether that was a good idea. And to that I would say, welcome to life in the big city, as the mayor would say himself. We heard the police put him down instantly, and given only two people have been hurt that we know of, I am thinking he was being watched by the security services or the police already. It would be incredible luck for them to just be passing by, as I said, when it happened, given it was armed, plainclothes police officers who killed this scumbag. And like I said a moment ago, only two reported injuries so far. So it would seem the police was there to help this backwards cretin fail in his goal and smother the light of his life in shite, which is exactly what the lowlife fuck pig deserved. The witness said the undercover old Bill chased him, telling him to stop, and he didn't, so they shot him before discovering he might be wearing a vest or carrying explosives. They then cleared the area and left him there to bleed out. I hope it fucking hurt bleeding out, if I'm honest, I really don't give a fuck. Even this guy said the police responded well and continued coming, even after the fuck pig was going cold on the floor. So like I said earlier, well done to the police for dealing with this. But to be honest, it should never be happening in the first place. But like I said earlier, I do think they were already on him, so maybe he was known and being watched as he tried to stab these people in Streatham. So luckily, they were straight on him and ended him right away. We will have to wait and see if Jeremy Corbyn or anyone in the Labour Party thinks the police should have arrested this guy rather than shot him. But in my mind, they did the right thing, and I'm sure you would all agree. I'm sure more details of who this cunt was and who was hurt will come out, but thoughts, of course, go to the family of those injured. Hopefully, there is no serious damage done. But on that note, guys, I am going to end the video there. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon! <laughs>